Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Have you ever thought about how different city life would be without elevators? Imagine walking up 20 or 30 floors every day just to get to your apartment. It's hard to even picture it in today's world, where skyscrapers are the backbone of urban landscapes. Elevators are often something we take for granted, but they've played a huge role in shaping modern cities and how we live. So, who actually invented the elevator, and how did this innovation redefine urban living? Let's dive into the fascinating history of the elevator and its profound impact on our lives today. Before elevators became the sophisticated machines we know today, there were primitive versions dating back centuries. Ancient civilizations like the Egyptians and Romans used rudimentary lifting devices, primarily powered by human or animal labor. These early elevators weren't exactly what we think of today. They were mostly used for lifting heavy goods in construction or for hoisting water. One of the first significant advancements came in 236 BCE, when Greek mathematician Archimedes created a kind of rope and pulley system. It was still basic, but it laid the groundwork for future innovations. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, and elevators were used in European castles to lift people or goods between floors. However, these systems were limited, dangerous, and unreliable. The true revolution would come much later in the 19th century. When we think of the modern elevator, one name stands out, Elisha Otis. While he didn't invent the elevator itself, he made a crucial innovation that changed everything, the safety brake. Otis was a mechanic who understood that the biggest obstacle to widespread elevator use wasn't just building a machine that could lift people or goods, it was making that machine safe enough for everyday use. Elevators of the time had a major flaw. If the lifting cable broke, the elevator would plummet. You can imagine how terrifying and dangerous that would be. In 1852, Otis developed a system that automatically engaged a set of safety brakes if the cable failed. His design was simple but revolutionary. The brakes would lock the platform in place, preventing a free fall. Two years later, at the 1854 World's Fair in New York City, Otis famously demonstrated his invention. He stood on an elevator platform and had the cable cut. Instead of plunging to the ground, the safety brake engaged, and the platform stopped in mid-air. This dramatic presentation won over skeptics, and suddenly, the concept of elevators became far less intimidating. Otis's safety brake paved the way for elevators to be used in buildings where people lived and worked. In 1857, the first passenger elevator was installed in a New York department store, setting the stage for elevators to become a staple of urban life. The introduction of safe, reliable elevators changed cities in ways no one could have predicted. Before elevators, buildings were typically limited to five or six stories, and the higher floors were often considered undesirable. Climbing flights of stairs every day wasn't ideal, so the wealthy preferred to live closer to the ground, while the less fortunate were often relegated to the upper floors. Once elevators became mainstream, that dynamic flipped entirely. Suddenly, living or working in a high-rise became prestigious. The higher floors offered better views, more privacy, and fresher air. Urban real estate changed as a result. Developers could build upward instead of outward, allowing for taller and more densely packed buildings. Cities could accommodate more people in less space, which was particularly important during the Industrial Revolution when urban populations were exploding. Take New York City as an example. Before elevators, the city's growth was horizontal, spreading outward into surrounding areas. But after elevators came along, New York started to grow vertically. The skyline we recognize today, with its towering skyscrapers, wouldn't have been possible without the elevator. It's no exaggeration to say that the modern city as we know it 
exists because of this invention. Elevators didn't just shape how cities looked, they fundamentally changed how we live and work. For one, they made cities much more accessible for everyone, especially the elderly and disabled. Before elevators, multi-story buildings were essentially off-limits for people with mobility issues. Elevators opened up new possibilities for where people could live and work, making it easier to navigate urban environments. In residential buildings, elevators helped change the layout of housing itself. Suddenly, you could build towering apartment blocks with dozens of floors. This shift made city living more affordable for many people because developers could pack more units into a single building, optimizing land use in a way that wasn't possible before. Elevators were essential to the rise of high-density living, which is now common in urban areas around the world. In the business world, elevators allowed companies to house thousands of employees in a single skyscraper, which brought about the birth of the modern corporate office. Imagine how different the working world would be if offices were still confined to just a few floors. Elevators made it possible for the vertical office to become the standard. As cities grew and technology advanced, so did the elevator. In the early 20th century, Electric elevators replaced steam-powered ones, making them faster, more reliable, and easier to install in buildings. Automated systems were developed, eliminating the need for human operators and making the elevator a seamless part of daily life. Today's elevators are marvels of technology. Some are capable of transporting people hundreds of meters in seconds, while others offer breathtaking views in glass enclosures. Smart elevators now use algorithms to predict where they'll be needed next, minimizing wait times. The humble elevator has become not just a tool for getting from point A to point B, but a symbol of technological progress and urban ingenuity. So, the next time you step into an elevator, take a moment to appreciate the incredible history behind this everyday convenience. It's not just a box that moves between floors. It's an invention that has shaped the world we live in today. From Elisha Otis's life-saving break to the sky-piercing skyscrapers we now see in cities across the globe, the elevator has truly transformed how we live, work, and interact with the urban world. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.